Hello and welcome to this latest lesson in the OCR GCSE computer science uh, section of work. Today's lesson is looking at structure diagrams and there is an example of a structure diagram on your screen. This is the second lesson uh, in the algorithm section of work and this makes up part of unit 2 algorithms and programming. In terms of the bigger picture, uh, this section of work sits within the first section of Unit 2. Unit 2 is made up of five uh, key categories of work, and this is the second lesson in the first category, 2.1 Algorithms. I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear that this is a short uh, lesson um, looking at structure diagrams. In this lesson, you will learn what a structure diagram is, be able to break down a problem to create your own structure diagram and talk around the advantages and disadvantages of using them. So pause the video at this point and see if you can work out the answer to the three questions on your screen. Given the first slide that you saw, what is a structure diagram, what are they used for and what do you think they might contain? So a structure diagram is a diagram which breaks down a problem into smaller sections. Uh, this allows the smaller sections to then be worked on one at a time. One way of beginning to design an algorithm is to use a structure diagram. Structure diagrams break down a problem into small sections in the way that we looked at decomposition last time. This allows the smaller sections to then be worked on one at a time. This is particularly useful for large projects, projects uh, where an application might be created by a large team of people, um, as it allows different individuals and different groups to work on different elements at each point in time. Uh, coming up is an example of a structure diagram, um, and this will show us the sort of uh, everyday tasks that we might better break down into smaller chunks. So here we've got a basic example of preparing an omelette. We've got the collection of the ingredients, the preparation of the meal, and then the cooking of the meal. Um, this example would require the first category to happen before the second and the second to happen before the third, but that isn't always the case. It may be that uh, all of those sections of work can be un uh, worked on at the same point in time. You'll see that we don't always just break down once. Collect ingredients could then be broken down into buying cheese and buying eggs and similar with our other key sections. As a practice activity for this, I have a task document which we're going to have a very quick read through. The task document is coming up on the next slide. I'd like you to read through that task and then have a think about the structure diagram that you might create for this problem. Pause the video at this point and have a go at creating a structure diagram for the problem on your screen. So here is an example of an answer. Uh, this doesn't necessarily include absolutely everything that might be in the, uh, in the application, but it does include the key things. I've broken mine down into authentication. That's going to deal with logging in, logging out, registering the user. The basic game elements, e.g. choosing the random song, allowing guesses, displaying the first few letters. Uh, the scoring system, giving points, taking away points, keeping track of the total. And then our kind of end game element, the bit where we display our lost message and probably a display high score table. If we were creating this as a real computer program, I might ask different people to work on different elements of the game. The authentication part could be worked on at the same time as the basic game. Um, we could test the authentication part uh, discreetly while the basic game was still being uh, created. As I said, this is a very, very short uh, section of work. If you understand decomposition, you should understand structure diagrams as they are, in short, the same thing. Um, you may, in the exam, be asked to create a structure diagram for a problem. It may be that you're asked to speak around the advantages and uh, disadvantages of the uh, different elements of the structure diagram. Hopefully that has been a useful, if uh, brief, introduction to structure diagrams. If you do have any questions, as always, please post those either on Google Classroom uh, or into the comments section below. Thank you very much.